Caltrans is seeing a dramatic increase in the number of illegal homeless encampments near freeways and under bridges. So don't look at us like we're losers or anything like that. Most of us out here want to work. This is where John Chavez hangs out, underneath Interstate 5 at Richards Boulevard. But Caltrans says that illegal encampments like this pose a public safety hazard for drivers. Some of our equipment where uh, copper wire theft occurs or even metal uh, being stolen from the location. That metal includes irrigation pumps that are needed to keep the streets clear from flooding. So Caltrans has been busy cleaning up illegal roadside encampments, like this one near the Crosstown Freeway in Stockton last August, at a cost to taxpayers of $7.5 million this year, double the cost from just two years ago. Merrill Arnold told us homeless campers don't really want to be living under bridges, but it's the only way to stay dry when it rains. There's no work, and without a job, you can't get a place to live. Without a place to live, you can't get a job. You're in a catch-22. Caltrans crews have found animal carcasses, toxic chemicals, and syringes in the roadside camps, which have also been the source for fires that threaten humans and wildlife. But the real threat to homeless people is the lack of affordable housing, according to civil rights lawyer Mark Marin. We can't stop the city and the state from, from moving people around, but it's a ridiculous use and a ridiculous waste of resources to spend money cleaning out encampments when you can otherwise divert people to a place where they can be with a little more security. But security along the roadways is part of Caltrans' mission, and the effort to clean up the illegal encampments can take up to 10 people and divert resources from other needed areas. When you put a strain on our manpower, it takes away from us being able to, uh, to complete jobs like emergency guardrail repairs or even um, checking on safety issues that are being reported uh, in other areas.